GOP presidential candidate Donald Trump recently visited Laredo, Texas, where he postured about immigration. Aside from proclaiming himself a master at building fences, Trump has not offered anything beyond generalities on this very contentious subject. Yet he's resonating with about one in five Republican voters. People are legitimately ticked off at the federal government's impotence in the face of immigration chaos. Politicians from both parties have been mouthing about immigration now for decades, yet the mayhem continues. The truth is the United States effectively has no immigration policy and will never have one until such time as the border is secured. When people can just come into the country at will, immigration laws, in whatever form they take, are just words on paper. When a young woman out for an afternoon with her father is gunned down by a repeat felon who, despite multiple deportations, re-enters the country at will, there is no chance of changing those laws through some grand, sweeping, comprehensive immigration reform. The people just won't buy it. With respect to immigration, simply securing the border is policy enough at this point. Propose an incredible way to stop people from illegally entering the country, and you will have set the predicate for effectively dealing with those who are already here. Countries have immigration policies so as to be able to import talent, creativity, and economic potential. But such policies presume a secure border, something we in the U.S. don't currently have. For purposes of 2016, a winning GOP position on immigration is simple. Promise to secure the border and then shut up. Don't pander and don't muddy up that promise. That's my word. What's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter at Paul Gleiser.